At this stage of the news out debate, Ravi Shankar Prasad joining the panel with Randeep Sujewala who stays on. Kumar Ketkar joins us. Vinod Mehta is with us. Hartosh Singh Bal. The panel is complete. Gentlemen, first question goes to Ravi Shankar Prasad. Without intending to provoke you in the least, Mr. Prasad, the fact is you must hand it to Rahul Gandhi. He's taken on his own prime minister. He's spoken with conviction. He's spoken with a lack of ambiguity, which has generally been seen to be quite refreshing. And he has done something which you have not. You have not said lock, stock and barrel, we don't want any change. You said take it to the standing committee. Rahul Gandhi is quite clear, which you are not. He says this is rubbish throw it out. Now, don't you think the younger people and the more, you know, the, the, the new India out there will say, Rahul Gandhi is speaking a line which we like. The BJP is speaking a line which politicians like. Or no, can I give you a little background? Some of you indicated on your channel. Yes. Earlier, there was a bill approved by the cabinet, headed by Dr. Manmohan Singh, of the Congress party, of which esteemed Mr. Rahul Gandhi is the vice president. This bill was approved, brought to the parliament. We opposed it. In Raj Sabha, they insisted. We also raised constitutional issue. In the Lok Sabha, again, we pressured. When Congress was, party was not sure of its majority, ultimately it went to standing committee because we were raising objection both about the nature of the bill and also its constitutionality. The second time the ordinance comes, again approved by the cabinet, held by the prime minister of the Congress party, where a Congress law minister very loquaciously and eloquently defended this bill, of which Rahul Gandhi is the Prime Minister, is the Vice President. Should we know that he did not know about it? No, is he not oh, entitled no, to a, is he not entitled to a reviewing his own position? No, no, I'm, 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 uh, and I miss my reply is very simple. When he saw the sense of revulsion in the country, when he learnt that even legally it will be vulnerable, R R when he learned that the Sojo. president is also asking questions, calling for the ministers. Then he realized, let me take a bravado. And Arnav Goswami, if that is the case of propriety, today a shameful saga in the annal of our democracy has are been added. We're bulldozed into passing a JPC are you on going? 2G, the worst scam. Are you Why going? Rahul Gandhi is quiet? Are you Why going? Rahul Gandhi are you, quiet are you Mr. Point? Ravi Shankar Prasad, going with the greatest of utmost respect to you by the form and not the content of what he says? And equally, can I please ask the Congress party which wants to respond to tell the people of this country a simple question? Rahul Gandhi didn't speak during the Anna movement. Rahul Gandhi didn't speak during the scams. Rahul Gandhi did not speak during the various other occasions where the credibility of this government was seen to be suspect, including when the PMO was pulled into Colgate. Why has Rahul Gandhi's conscience suddenly woke? Woken up when the Prime Minister is on a foreign visit at a time like this? Anab, there are two very simple points that I want to make. Number one, Rahul Gandhi ji has set a new discourse, he's given a new direction to the polity oh. by saying very simple things. Now what? And that is let us rise above the, polit ab above the political shades and differences of opinion and purge India's polity from criminals. But my friends from BJP can never say, Ravi, because their prime minister aspirant, Shri Narendra Modi ji, has Babu Bhai Bokaria, a convicted person as his minister, because their prime ministerial aspirant does not permit Lokpal bill to be passed. Is that the issue Rahul tonight? Has no, is that, is that the issue tonight? Courage of conviction, is, is, is that the issue tonight? Why do you try to dodge the issue? And Randeep Singh Sojewala, Randeep Singh Sojewala, answer my question tonight. Does this not cast a shadow on the remaining tenure of Dr. Manmohan Singh? With ministers falling in line, does it not Absolutely. undercut the authority and credibility of the prime minister? Is that Absolute. not your concern? Is Absolutely. that not Rahul Gandhi's concern? Not, uh, not at not at all, Arnab. It's not here, your concern. Here is a here is a leader, a young leader of a political party who has spoken the truth like it is. And he has guided not only his own party but his own government. And let me remind you, we are not run from Nagpur. Indian National Congress has a history of difference of opinion between Prime Minister and second in command. Even oh, in so the you are admitting Mahatma this is an admission, Randeep Singh Sujewala admitting on national television issues, tonight. But you are admitting Nehru on national television Sardar tonight Patel that there are differences. Disagreed on many no, 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 you are, you, issues. Did, you, did I just hear you admit? Please understand. No, did Please I hear understand. you admit? No, Did I hear you not, admit please, something? With due regards, Arnab, do not, Arnab, do not put words in my mouth. Please understand. I, you the said you said Indian National Congress has a Shiri history Rahul of Gandhi, differences. Shri Rahul Gandhi. No, you said Indian National yes, Congress a has a history of, of differences. Explain. It's an, in, 
No, I did not say Indian National Congress is an open democratic party and permits difference of opinion. Here the leader of the Indian National Congress has said the truth like it is. He has Question coming to you from Bharat Kumar Raut. Bharat Kumar Raut intervenes in the debate. Bharat Kumar I have a simple question. And I, have, I have a simple question. How do, you, how do you make a difference of opinion? If your leader, the supreme leader perhaps, he says that throw the ordinance. Is nonsense. This, is this... This is nonsense. This is nonsense and throw this ordinance. Is it only difference of opinion or something or more no, than can that? I, come here? I would I would say it is a no confidence from the party to the to the government headed by Manmohan Singh. A vote of and no I, confidence. It's a vote of no confidence. Randeep from the party. Mr. Sujawala. Vote of no confidence for the party. Mr. Sujawala is here, absolutely, here. Absolutely, he the only option in, left, absolutely he only option incorrect. Left with the Prime here, 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 here is a vice president of the party and party is leader who speaks from of courage of conviction by sincerity of purpose and by speaking Mr. the truth Mr. as Mr. it is. Mr. Sujawala, Ravi Shankar Prasad is responding the party. to you. He is writing a new political discourse no, no, Mr. and Mr. he is also telling Mr. all Sujewala, politicians of all states, let's rise above partisan politics and let's do what is Mr. correct Mr. for Mr. India Mr. and let's purge criminals Mr. from Sujewala, politics. Mr. Sujewala, before you go, Ravi Shankar Prasad is saying something to you. Please listen to him. The only question I have to ask you repeatedly is, it's good to position yourself, but when you position yourself at the expense of your Prime Minister, then are you preparing to dump the Prime Minister of India? Are you preparing to dump the Prime Minister? Are you prepared Absolutely. for a situation where a Prime Minister may put in his papers? What if the Prime Minister were Absolutely. to say, I don't, I don't like to be insulted not. like this Absolutely and I want to resign? Absolutely not, Arnab. Absolutely not, Arnab. We respect our Prime Minister. He is most Ravi valuable not only for the Indian National Congress but for the Those entire are party. Tonight. But here is an ideological line given by those, given by Rahul Ji to the are, party are, and to the government. Those and are, that is a fair and correct thing to those do. Those are mere words to Randeep Sujawala. Ravi Shankar Prasad is responding to you, Mr. <clears throat> Prasad, to Randeep Sujawala. Go ahead. <clears throat> I hope the very eager and enthusiastic Congress spokesperson will have the patience to listen to me. Go ahead. Or not, should I presume that Dr. Manmohan Singh did not know the mind of Rahul Gandhi? Should I presume that Chidambaram and Kapil Sibbal and the whole lot of eminent lawyer members of the Council of Ministers did not know the mind of Tenjanpath when twice it was approved by the cabinet? And Mr. Rahul Gandhi has given the line Answer to rise that. above party divides. Why he did not give that to Mr. Manmohan Singh? Answer that. Answer that. Given that. Answer the point that. is very simple. Arnab, I am not, Arnab, I am not advocating for regards, Manmohan Singh. With due it is a public to scrub. Public scrub to Dr. Manmohan Singh. A public humiliation. And if you have le left a little self-respect, as Mr. Baru talked about, he must resign. No, you must, must answer, resign. Mr. Surjewala. You must answer. You must with, answer with, one question. Yes, why I is will. Rahul and Gandhi... I will, Arnab, I will, Arnab, no, no, why is Rahul question. Gandhi entering into the subject so belatedly? With, Was he not aware of moves to, to draft a bill? <coughs> no. Was he not aware of an ordinance of no, this nature? Mr. Did he not know about all that? Another thing. I, no, no, watch it. No, no, I want, I want, I want Randeep to respond to that. What the leader from the Bharatiya Janta Party has said... Yes. And the... The stance of the party has been made very, very clear by Shri Rahul Gandhi. When, when a clear stance is made not only for the Indian National Congress and the government, but for the entire polity. And what is Rahul Ji saying? With sincerity of purpose, oh. with complete dedication, complete transparency, let's purge criminals. No, from was, this, was this a what moment? Was this that? a moment of and Nirvana for Rahul Gandhi? Are, you know, was, was this a moment of Nirvana? Was it? Was it like a uh, you know a, 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 a Nirvana moment for Rahul Gandhi that he suddenly Let realized us, that I have Arnab, to play you have the? To see, you have to see sincerity of purpose of uh, a young leader of India who has who and has you, and you are saying, above. All kind no, of let, parochialism let, that exists let, let across me political here, Arnab, parties let me come in and here. said criminality if, if has sincere, to be purged the, from the politics. Government, and let's uh, go ahead and the, do that. Passing the ordinance was why that news came three days ago. Exactly, that, exactly. Randeep Sujewala, one minute. Uh, Randeep Sujewala, uh, one, one, one minute. Let me, one minute. Let, Mr. Sujewala, don't go away. One, let, Mr. Let, Sujewala, let don't go away. Let me complete no, this. No, one sec. Mr. Let, let Mr. Sujewala answer that. Before that, Mr. Sujewala, oh, he's leaving this. I think he's got to go to another panel. But these are questions which, which are burning tonight. Okay, okay, and I, I want to I, clarify, Randeep Sujewala is not leaving the panel. He stayed on with us for a bit. And he has to another panel discussion to go to. So, Kumar Ketkar, let me, let me throw the ball here in your court. You know, what is the intention? 
Is, the, is the intention to I, take the thunder away from the BJP? Well, Kumar I Ketan? don't think it was so planned or pre-orchestrated. Don't, don't tell me that. <laughs> okay, don't both, me. both are presumptions. You, you are saying it was orchestrated, I am saying it you, is not. You are a seasoned both of, us, both of us do not know whether it was orchestrated or not. So I am taking I, a position that it was spontaneous. You are taking pre-orchestrated. No, no, all, okay. all I am saying, okay. all I am the saying, only all, point, all, all I am the saying only tonight. point I am trying to drive at is, suppose it is belated wisdom. Belated Sup wisdom. Suppose it is three days later what is, the Sakshatkar. What is suppose belated it is wisdom? Revelation. What is suppose it is a revelation three days after. You don't expect me to believe Suppose that. you are saying that. Suppose it is a revelation three days after. A, a revelation. Are we questioning? A, a revelation, sir. Are we questioning the position? No, it is. Or we are questioning the timing sir, of the we are, revelation? Sir, we are questioning the timing. But we are questioning we, the time. Why? Nobody is allowed to learn later on? <laughs> you're, you're telling me that nobody is nobody's entitled to learn later on? What do you what mean should happen? later on? He must have realized later. So he, what is wrong? He, he, okay, what's, what is wrong, wrong in realizing later? What is wrong in realizing later that they made a mistake? Suppose no, but he, no, the, the timing of this realization is very interesting. It is after the leader of opposition in both the houses, not only that, other ministers and the president of India had doubts about this. After that, when Milin Devra, his young cabinet uh, minister of state, for, he, he tweeted against this. This then Rahul Gandhi speaks. It is well but orchestrated. What is, what is wrong is, in it that? Is, it is no no realization. See, we don't know it whether it is was orchestrated. orchestrated or not. This is the formula. Suppose it is orchestrated. What is wrong with that? It, it is. is it, has he taken a wrong position? It, exactly. Has as, he made as, a wrong as, statement? As, as a party are chief, you supporting as, the statement or you are questioning the timing? I want to important. Gentlemen, important may, may I, what is important may, is may the statement he has made. What is not important relatively is the timing. Timing is secondary issue. May I, may I Timing is secondary issue, the statement no, 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 is important. Timing. And moreover, and more or one more thing, this happens in all democratic countries. Arnabai. When Vajpayee described Narendra Modi as Kalank stigma, at that time, party president and Mr. Advani supported Narendra Modi. Did Vajpayee resign? I have four did questions. Did Vajpayee resign? I will Vajpayee at that time did not resign because he also I, understood, I, I, I will. He also understood in democracy. But there, there I, party no, no, but, but, party but, but, and, party not, and but, government but, are two different uh, things. Come and the same thing has happened in Shiv Sena. Same thing has happened in Shiv Sena. Otherwise, I'll be on my legs. No, Barasab Thakre has often taken a position against the Shiv Sena BJP government in Maharashtra. So this happens in democracy. None of them spoke of throwing the ordinance. I'm going to stand up. None of them. I'm going to stand up. I'm going to. I'm threatening to stand up. One minute. One minute, General. Can I have a moment of silence, which is rare on the news hour tonight, which will be refreshing, so we can all catch a breath, and so can our viewers tonight. I take a breath and I ask four questions. Four questions, Vinod Mehta, if you permit me. Was Rahul Gandhi unaware of the government's attempt to circumvent the Supreme Court order? Was Rahul Gandhi unaware of the party meet on August 13th? Was Rahul Gandhi unaware of the cabinet note dated August 17th? Was Rahul Gandhi also unaware that the bill? was introduced in the Rajya Sabha on the 30th of August. And if Rahul Gandhi was unaware of all this, then we are a very worried people indeed. The floor is to Vinod Mehta tonight. Ravi Shankar Prasad nodding in agreement. Hatosh Singhbal coming to you any minute. Arnab. Vinod Mehta. Arnab, I have some exclusive information for you and you can't say I don't deliver the goods. <laughs> My exclusive information is this. On Tuesday afternoon at 2.30, last Tuesday afternoon at 2.30, Ajay Markan came to see me. He said to me that he was trying to arrange some editors to meet Rahul Gandhi. So we had a chit chat, but in the end he said, please when you meet Rahul Gandhi, please tell him that there are sections in the party who are, who are very unhappy about this ordinance. This he told me on Tuesday afternoon. Now what I want to make two or three points. The first point remains that of course this has been horribly handled. It should never have been handled like this. But I think the Congress party is to blame for that. Point number two. Everybody is saying that this is a snub to the Prime Minister. Why would the Congress and Sonia Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi snub a prime minister who is their creation why would they want to do that the third point which remains which is exactly what all of us the want congress to know decision making decision making processes in the congress are very complex there may have been sections in the congress party who were for the ordinance 
and i'm going to say something which is you may find blasphemous i think the prime minister actually may be relieved that rahul has said what he has said because i find it very difficult to believe that the prime minister would support a piece of legislation which legitimizes the role of criminals in parliament so therefore this is not so simple and last point this language of nonsense the everybody i mean rahul gandhi is a young lad a <laughs> young lad what would you have preferred him to say would you have preferred him to say it's counterproductive i'm glad that he didn't use a euphemism and use the nonsense we don't matter we don't I matter mean, we don't matter you know uh, you know i have i have tremendous regard for you and 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 i have so never I, I, have, I, have, i have i have never in the years that i have known you ever challenged any of your anecdotes including the one you just revealed Please. about what ajay markan told you about how he felt against what was being expressed because what amounts to it, we very serious get, uh, and now you can see that you can see the register in outlook he came at 230 i gave him biscuits and coffee <laughs> <laughs> stop i say we don't that stop there before you decide to reopen before ajay markan calls us and accuses you of of uh, of leaking of, all the information but but i must say this it? but i must say this i think vinod mehta is correct and if i may corroborate these meetings with editors are being arranged and vinod mehta i have the pleasure in informing you that you are number 3 on the list of several people who are due to meet rahul gandhi so you are completely correct on that and that was also corroborated to me yesterday but i won't reveal any more because we may be Adnab, meeting some of the same people i suggested that you should be number 1 and <laughs> i suggested you should be number 1 i'm on the not list. in that race with you vinod mehta you have far more experience wisdom gray hair and you are far more handsome than i am but He's more a serious great. note my question to hartosh is this here is vinod mehta giving this long rope to everyone including manmohan singh my only question is about rahul gandhi bhartosh why did he wake up so late why did he wake up a day after the bjp leaders met the president you see rahul gandhi has said this two days after the ordinance was promulgated 21 days after the proposed bill to counter the supreme court's ruling was brought up in parliament and the whole country wants to know what took him so long to voice his objections what took him so long hartosh arnab arnab clearly uh, i am not so charitable on rahul gandhi this is rehearsed political theater and bad theater at that uh, this is not the first time rahul gandhi has threatened to tear up a document go back to the up elections there's nothing spontaneous about this claim today obviously there's a background to it the congress party has floated a bubble they try to push an ordinance and we must remember this is not an executive ordinance it has political motives to think sonia gandhi would not have been in on this ordinance is absurd and to imagine that rahul gandhi does not talk to his mother well that says something about the congress party that is what the party wants to claim so rahul was clearly in the know you float this bubble you find out that it is having repercussions that are politically dangerous as you approach an election you find a try find a way out what do you do you find a man who has little face to lose make him lose a little more face what try make rahul a hero and this is the scenario you see played out before you today no one second one second one second one second this Ajab. is not the don't know what so what you are what you are saying is what you are saying is that rahul gandhi went along rahul gandhi sonia gandhi all okay. planned this out this was meant to help Uh, the dmk in tamil nadu lalu prasad in bihar get some allies happy and that's why Absolute. all the ministers including Absolute. jairam ramesh and kapil Absolute. sibal and everyone was falling in line and now that rahul gandhi realized that it's going against popular opinion Absolute. he changed his line and has made manmohan singh the fall guy that's what you're saying Absolute. artosh absolute You 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 Absolute believe not. you believe that Absolutely you, not. you I, believe I, that I Kumar Kedar agree with Vinod Mehta that Manmohan Singh must have felt relieved Absolutely I believe must have felt relieved it is not in Manmohan Singh's DNA to accept such a kind of an ordinance but he had to Arnab, because he is running a coalition something? government he is running a UPA government it's not a congress government which is why he didn't frame the ordinance that is what i'm trying to say this ordinance didn't come from manmohan singh cabinet. he had to make the government survive and i think he did no, what I, was necessary to uh, let no, the government no, survive no, 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 no. Here, so <laughs> i i i i think i think i think i, I think as as, as, I, as i as i go to ravi shankar prasad here here's here's what i'd say it is very difficult for anyone to believe that on such a sensitive issue ravi shankar prasad the upper echelons of the congress party had no idea what the government was up to that's all 
और नाउ लेट मी एक्सप्लेन टू यू आई एम अमेज्ड मिस्टर कुमार केतकर इज ए सीजन जर्नलिस्ट या ट्राइंग टू जस्टिफाई ए पालपेबल थिएटर ऑफ द एब्सर्ड इंक्लूडिंग ब्रिंगिंग नरेंद्र मोदी इज नेम व्हिच आई रिजेक्ट विद ऑल द अथॉरिटी एट माय कमांड बट और नाउ लेट मी पुट वन क्वेश्चन स्ट्रेट अवे डज राहुल गांधी नीड टू गेट क्रैश इनटू ए प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस बीइंग हेल्ड बाय अजय माकन और ही कैन कॉल ए प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस ही वाज कॉल्ड should we presume that this serious issue was done without the consent of tenjanpat or once the entire public mood was done a, an but image was thought to be given that tenjanpat cannot do any wrong no but as far as i am concerned i don't know whether tenjanpat was discussed if, if, i don't know whether tenjanpat no, no, was involved no, no, please, in making an ordinance mr ketkar i don't think tenjanpat is involved mr. in making ordinance please keep quiet mr ketkar please keep quiet i didn't disturb you secondly it is very important if rahul gandhi is so much driven to change the course of country's polity why he kept quiet on the whole issue of corruption on the 2g today a shameful jpc report was bulldozed he is keeping quiet bailing out manmohan singh chidambaram on this whole colgate file how how railgate happened how a complete mr pawan bansal was given a complete clean sheet by the cbi misuse of cbi from on the whole commonwealth game Mr Rahul Gandhi has maintained a conspicuous silence including on inflation So what's your allegation what's your allegation is, my allegation my allegation is very simple he sought to give an impression let me try to give a take a high moral ground ah so he's But taking the popular line that's so that's a theater of the so, so you you reject the absurd a theater of the absurd without that, that and secondly he wanted to convey he wanted to convey a message that the family ah. cannot do wrong the prime minister can do and therefore the pm today stands humiliated the kind of language and or not it is very important he is the vice president he is supposed to be the congress pm's candidate can you afford to use these kind of phrases against your government nonsense must be torn away come on what is Arnab. this he is a topmost leader no you see no no we no 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 we not matter we not matter here is ravi shankar prasad <coughs> ravi shankar prasad makes two allegations one he says that this is rahul gandhi hypocritically trying to endear himself to the masses by trying to get a aam aadmi kind of image right and on the other hand he throws a bigger question and and i think this is a question which many people will ask vinod mehta that you know if the, if rahul gandhi wants to bring greater transparency in our political system then why was rahul gandhi quiet when the cbc said that political parties including the congress party should be brought under the ambit of the right to information act at that point of time rahul gandhi did not hold, hold a press conference or call ajay makan and take a principal position of the press club of india surely there is something to do with the timing arnab if you are looking for inconsistencies we you can fill a full program about the inconsistencies of the congress party and the mistakes that they have made what i am trying to say is two things one is that rahul gandhi doesn't need to improve his image in the congress oh, party no, no. yes no this is not outside the congress party want to improve party. his image in the nation uh, yes he might want to improve his image in the nation that's a different point but at the end of the day what we have seen is damage limitation we have seen that the congress party and rahul gandhi especially the younger people did not realize the force of public opinion against this legislation that is the point and once they realized that is the point that, that the is force the force of public opinion they came they came to their senses and may i repeat once again and that, ask that is Shankar that is Prasad, the fundamental point that why why should why should the congress and rahul gandhi and sonia gandhi want to snub a prime minister but who they have that is but, the they have, Mehta, but they have vinod mehta but they have bharat kumar rao but they but they already have vinod mehta they already have vinod uh, 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 kumar rao vinod ji vinod ji are too senior for me to make comment on you but it is it is a strategy it is a war strategy that you create opposition from within so that there is no room for opposition but that will that is has fallen for no, the no, it is not it is not it, fallen. it has not i mean you are discussing is, for last it, 10 it, hours it is your you are discussing for last 10 hours what rahul gandhi said no my you question is my question position. is my question is congress i don't know whom to ask this question congress people it is uh, their will and wish to be subordinate to what rahul says but what happens to the allies of the upa upa congress it is not the congress government it is upa government there are other allied parties 
Is it not humiliating for them? Why the other allies are taking it? Why I think they are they are called nonsense. Why I think I think Ravi Shankar Prasad. They are called nonsense. Why the allies are taking it? I think I think Ravi Shankar Prasad makes a few solid points and observations there today. Though I think Ravi Shankar Prasad, at one point, I think you are shedding crocodile tears for the Prime Minister. Your your real intention behind those tears you are shedding copiously, if I may say so, for the Prime Minister is to drive a wedge. You are driving a wedge. Arno, Arno, I'm just give me one line, Arno, one line. Whenever Dr. Manmohan Singh goes abroad, we have been criticizing him and will continue to do so. Our friends in the government say, Mr. Prasad, please don't be so harsh. The PM is abroad. He is negotiating. Please have a little milder expression. We agree for that. But these kind of principles are not applicable to Dr. The great Mr. Rahul Gandhi. Today, Manmohan Singh was meeting Obama. So he was not meeting as Manmohan Singh. He was meeting as the Prime Minister of India. On that day, when he was supposed to address the UN, he was supposed to meet the Nawaz Sharif, Mr. Nawaz Sharif. In spite of our opposition, he has been castigated. No, he can. You are getting it, getting it. Sanjay Jha into the debate. One second. One second. Sanjay Jha joining the debate. The question is Sanjay Jha is this. One second. So, question is this. Let us not forget. Let us not forget that the Prime Minister is currently away in the U.S. of A, Mr. Jha. A few weeks ago, he makes a statement that he will be happy to work under Rahul Gandhi. So when Rahul Gandhi completely upstages him and emerges as the hero, we, does it not cast a huge shadow on the remaining tenure of the Manmohan Singh government? It's a no confidence. I am again and again saying it's a no confidence. Uh, uh, Arnab, Arna, these are totally unrelated and completely uh, disparate Arna. developments. Number one, I think uh, as as Rahul Gandhi categorically stated when he came today impromptu for the press conference, and the word impromptu was used by all TV channels as well, which is appropriate. Uh, it was a spontaneous gesture. He said he said when he came there that no, he he was good. speaking to Ajay Markan, and uh, and and on and he knew that he was debating the issue of ordinance, and he decided to come there and have a free and frank chat. Number two, as far as the developments in Washington are concerned, uh, let me tell you, the Prime Minister is negotiating multiple national issues there with world leaders, and that that cannot be compared with this at all. So there has been no attempt. Let me tell you, categorically, as a spokesman of the Congress Party, the Prime Minister has got the full and the complete support of the Congress Party and the UPA. Anybody trying to link uh, Rahul Gandhi's statement today? Sanjay Jha. Sanjay Jha. Sanjay Jha. You know, you know. They don't besides, have to be besides those because, scripted because lines which, which you have parodied. That no, 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 he's supporting that the ordinance. Sa Sa Sanjay Jha. Sanjay Jha. Let us not. Let us be a little real today. The Congress, Rahul Gandhi has also criticized the Congress party. He has exposed the Congress party's double speak. He has shown that what the Congress spokespersons were doing was merely parroting of a political line. He's left the Congress party embarrassed. Let us not forget that the Congress party publicly defended this ordinance. The Congress party was part of the all-party meeting on August 13th. So can they wash their hands completely of this episode? You know, you can't on television today do this good cop, bad cop routine. Otherwise, I will quote to you all the Congress spokespersons and what they said three days back. And you are changing your position right now. So, Sanjay Jha, how do you feel? Yesterday, you have one view on the ordinance on television. Today, you have another view on, on the ordinance on television. Can Explain. I... No, so, no, no, one second. And don't say it's an evolving situation. No, no, I won't say evolving or a revolving situation. I'll make it very simple for you. I was on your Times Now program. Yes. The, the theme of your program was that this entire program is, you know, the entire ordinance is politically motivated on account of a verdict coming up uh, where Mr. Lalu Prasad, the other... No, the, 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 the theme of the debate was, was what is the hurry for the ordinance. I stand, you stand I corrected. No, no, no. No, no, I remember what the theme of the program was. The theme of the program was what is the hurry for this ordinance. This is an ordinance that is aimed at protecting politicians, it is a wrong thing to do and all of you, including you Sanjay Jha, went hammer and tongs. That was the day when Manish Tiwari called Sushma Swaraj's comments as unsolicited advice, which is neither appreciated nor taken seriously. And he said that I find Sushma Swaraj's uh, comments, which are, which are unsolicited, amusing slash surprising. You know, that was the day when we were doing that discussion and I remember well, what Raj Babar said, Jairam Ramesh said, Kapil Sibal said, you said, Manish Tiwari said. So don't change your position here today. Let's okay, go let back to you. the moot issue. The moot but, issue but, but is me, that when a Congress, you can ask, you the, can moot ask. Issue, the moot issue is when a Congress vice president randomly walks into a press conference and announces his opposition in the choicest of words. The choicest of words. 
Everybody feels here today, including Kumar Ketkar, that it undermines the, the credibility of the Prime Minister. I'm sure you I agree with that. I never, no, said, you, you, I never you, said it undermines the credibility of Prime but, Minister. But, 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 all I want to tell you is but, but, that we spent considerable time, we spent considerable time in the fact, on the fact, style, said, on the semantics, on the syntax. But I think the fundamental point is the substance of what he said. So what he personally feels is more relevant. Perhaps Rahul Gandhi remains the Prime Minister of India. He but, remains the Prime Minister of India. The words they have been used, calling nonsense to the entire cabinet, throwing it, uh, throwing the ordinance away. I think he wanted to humiliate not only the Prime Minister but the entire cabinet of India. Now, is it possible? Think, is it possible, Hartosh, that the that Rahul Gandhi did not think this one through? Is it possible that this was just spontaneous, a mistake, perhaps a, a little bit of an intemperate response? Because you know. Today, with what Rahul Gandhi has said, there are two options. The government withdraws, the Prime Minister is spineless. Arnab, if, the, if the government does not withdraw, the Prime Minister is defying Rahul Gandhi. You're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. You have no room for a political maneuver. You do not have any face saver left. The only face saver the Prime Minister of India frankly has to die if he wants to walk out to of this out. with yeah. respect. If he wants to walk out of this with respect, is to quit. Yeah. Is to quit. Hartosh. And then we can call him a game changer. Arnab, we can I, I call Rahul Gandhi a game changer. With you, Arnab. <laughs> Arnab, if you look at Arnab, if you look at what? Arnab, if you look at the history of Rahul Gandhi over the past three or four years, this is a pattern that has been repeated. One is that none of his <coughs> gestures are spontaneous. It's a rehearsed whether he goes to Bhatta Parsol, whether he's campaigning UP, whether he wants to give one or two rotis to somebody. <laughs> And he wants to make statements and gestures which resonate with the public. Unfortunately, he has never been able to calculate the entire ramifications of what he does and says. And I think this is perfectly in keeping with this past. What are you alleging? That it was rehearsed, yet he did not anticipate what implication it will have are you on saying... his government, on his party, on Manmohan Singh, in the US. And uh, yes. Are you saying, are you saying that Rahul Gandhi does not have the political intuition to think of the consequences of such a comment? That's a fairly grave thing that you're saying there, Hartosh. Absolutely. I don't think he has any political intuition. No, That's been no, very clear the past few years. 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 No, no, no. Here, here is the Congress no, party. No, 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 watch. Not, this is, this is no, important. If Rahul does not understand or does not take into account the ramifications, then what does he do? You are saying that he is responding to the public mood. Is it wrong in democracy to respond Arthos to public mood? Is completely if he realizes later the that there mark. is disgust, I don't think if, Rahul if he realizes that there is disgust against this ordinance, and if he realized that after talking to people, I think he expressed it later, I, perhaps orchestrated a We don't know for a fact. Then you should have waited for the Prime Minister Arnab. to come, discuss with him, Arnab. and then come why? out. Why? You could say it today. It's so not a question of... This is a bravado. This I is don't the calculated bravado. Consult, I, I don't think he should consult Arnab. other members of the parliament or opposition parties. What? Time he should say what? No, no, one second. That uh, is entirely his choice. Gentlemen, you see, there are there are two points of view emerging news are tonight. Uh, Vinod, uh, Vinod Mehta just going to recapitulate it. We have people like Sanjay Jha who says that Rahul Gandhi, what he has said today, makes him a political visionary. Vision. And then, uh, once, like, like, like Sanjay Jha today, who is saying Rahul Gandhi is a political visionary. And there are people like Hartosh who are saying here today that Rahul Gandhi did not even know what he was saying. He did not think through the consequences. Now, Vinod Mehta, keep this in mind. While the Congress party spin doctors would like us to believe that Rahul Gandhi was outraged by the government's move, if you carefully examine all his public speeches, it's amply clear, Vinod Mehta, that Rahul Gandhi has built his political standing on playing the role of an outsider. He has consciously and consciously pitched himself to be an outsider to the political class, even to the government, to the Congress party. This is the calibrated strategy. When he said, I don't believe in the poison of absolutely, power. Absolutely. You're absolutely no, right, Arnav. No, 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 no. Watch it. So, but, so, and let me say, let yeah, me on. say immediately, Arnav, let me just say immediately, let me just say immediately that the handling of this whole thing by Rahul Gandhi has, much, it has been extremely bad. And... For Sanjay Jha or somebody to pretend that the Prime Minister has not been embarrassed is, is absolutely incorrect. But on the other hand, to assume that when Obama meets Manmohan Singh, instead of talking of the nuclear deal, he will say, I say, Manmohan, what is all this about <laughs> Rahul Gandhi snubbing you in Delhi? 
I mean, this is ridiculous. I mean, this, this, has, this is purely a domestic problem and a very complex domestic problem. And I would only say to Ra Rahul Gandhi, they rai par durusta. No, no, but Vinod Mehta, you are also hyping the Manmohan Singh, uh, Manmohan Singh uh, Obama visa meeting. It's not exactly Camp David, I'm sorry. That's going on there between Manmohan Singh and Obama. No, no, it's I'm not, not exactly Camp but David. Whatever so, discussion. So, no, no. Now, whatever discussion no, they I, have, I want he's not going to be talking no. about the about about the fact that the ordinance on uh, criminal elements no, no. in parliament. I mean, they I, will have their usual negotiations. I, I, here is a, this here, has no, no, no but, impact I, in, in foreign. Hartosh Singh called Rahul Gandhi. If I am not mistaken, and correct me right here if I am wrong, Hartosh Singh's suggestion was that Rahul Gandhi is politically immature. That's why he has said this. Hartosh, have I got he your sense learning. correct? No, no. Have I got your sense Sonia correct? Gandhi was a gungi gudia. Soon, 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 Sonia Absolutely. Gandhi was a gungi gudia. I, no, 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 no. Hartosh says Rahul Gandhi is politically immature. Hartosh, do you still say that? Is that your line? Hartosh, 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 I say, I think one of the problems with Rahul is unlike Sonia Gandhi or Indira Gandhi, he is not showing signs of learning. Why do you say that? Then I'll get Sanjay to respond. Explain that. Because, as I said, there is a repeated pattern of the kind of consistent public postures and failures that are repeated through Rahul Gandhi's careers and today fits in with that. And this assumption that this will make him into some kind of hero is an absolute misreading of the situation. No, but I don't think he has. He no, no, what's exact, any such kind of no, no, he, he makes like a big claim. So February 6, 2012. No, he has not uh, any, no, he's he has, always said he this. He has not but, made any claim that he will become a national hero. No, no, but he's always. You can say that what no, his no, statement no, was. I'll, 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 I'll go. No, no, I'll go. No, no, no. Call it pre no, no, He has Kumar not made a claim Kumar that he will shift as a national hero. Kumar Ketkar, I can prove to you now that. Hartosh is absolutely right because Rahul Gandhi has always he's made his own positioning that I am a different kind of politician. He says all the political part leaders in India, including the top ones, have an obsession with prime ministership. This is not, and he refers to himself in first person, this is not Rahul Gandhi's obsession. I have other obsessions about working for the state, etc., etc. So, Hartosh is right that he's trying to do this careful positioning so that I'm a totally different kind of politician. So, what is wrong in saying there, that? There is, there is nothing. He never accepted the, any cabinet post. He never accepted any ministerial position. He always remained out. So, what is wrong in saying that I am out and away and different. Well, there is nothing. What is wrong in saying there that? There is nothing wrong with saying you're out and, and that you're different. But then if you go back to the Lokpal ag agitation, the people of this country will ask you, where is your consistency? If I go back to the Lokpal agitation, Rahul Gandhi maintained a steady silence throughout. He jumped into the fray at the end and he said, let's make Lokpal a constitutional yeah, so body. Yeah, he jumped at the time. When Arna, he Arna. No, no. So that was the same strategy then of jumping into so the scene is, late I, in the I day and trying to dominate the agenda. How does it prove immaturity? Because, no, you no. Can and call can him I coming answer that later no, no, line. Because, because. Uh, you can call him wrong, you can call as uh, no, when, when you, saying it was a bad strategy, no, no, it was a strategy, no, no, this, what is wrong is, is doing is, whatever he has done? Is this a strategy? He has not said he will become a hero no, out of it. Is this a strategy where you go on and on on one thing, you ignore the entire uh, public outrage up to a point where you realize it's a tipping point and I can't go with it any further, so I come out with a fresh statement which dominates the agenda, even if it means compromising my own prime minister in the process. That's one way of looking at it. Now, Sanjay Jha wanted to respond to the very direct charge Two charges, in fact, made about Rahul Gandhi by Hartosh. Sanjay, to Hartosh. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Hartosh, uh, you know, frankly speaking, if he believes that Rahul Gandhi is a politically immature personality and he still manages to win two big general elections for the Congress party, <coughs> win several state elections, then I think uh, the BJP no, should so be No, so did Rahul Gandhi uh, when, win the election in 2004? I thought it was Manmohan Singh. Uh, no, no, one second. Sanjay Jha, Sanjay Jha, one minute, stand one, corrected, one minute. I need to minute. get a clarification Let me tell you, on he, it. Was that the Congress spokesperson just saying here right now that 2004 and 2009 were won by Rahul Gandhi? Because I think if you're saying that, then it was a complete change of tack because the Congress party till now was duly crediting Manmohan well, Singh. But here you are, Sanjay Jha, you are crediting Rahul Gandhi. Well, are you also blowing with the wind? Well, let me tell you, let me tell you, 
Let me tell you, Mr. Rahul Gandhi canvassed across the country. His campaigning was incredible. Ah, and this, over all the state elections over the last is, nine years a... have all been done by Rahul. He's been the principal man right <coughs> to the helm of affairs. So if that is an immature politician, according to Hartos Singh, then I think the BGP should be worried because Mr. Rahul Gandhi is only getting more and more experience. Hartosh, the Hartosh is turned point, to respond. You mentioned that Rahul Gandhi has not been taking, Rahul Gandhi has not been taking a stance. I'll give you two examples. One, I'm glad you mentioned yourself that when the Lokpal debate was on, here was one man who stood in parliament and talked about giving the Lokpal a constitutional status, which actually okay, so here's one makes thing. it a more powerful anti-corruption body. Okay. And that was ridiculed by people. So, 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 ma'am, Mr. Sanjay Jha, Mr. Mr. Sanjay Jha, tell me, status. tell me, Mr. Sanjay Jha, one second, Mr. Jha, whether it was Bhatta Patsol, whether there's been Odisha, Rahul Gandhi has been instrumental in the creation of these laws. Mr. Jha, Hartosh will respond to you. It, the selective response of Rahul Gandhi is interesting. Nobody's questioning whether he should Rahul, do it or not. But but he did not speak on any of these scams. Can responding. I answer that in Hartosh short? I just take one minute. Hartosh I just is take responding. One minute. Rahul Gandhi has consistently mentioned that corruption uh, no. is a challenge. No, 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 no that's a man of those generalization. Hartosh is responding. If you look at his press that's conference today, that's a generalization. That's a conference today. He said, including the Congress or the BJP or the SP. One minute. Why don't you go to his press conference of today? That's a complete. That's Press a complete generalization. The Prime Minister compromises. Whichever S Sanjay Jha, Rahul Gandhi did not speak about 2G, CWG, Adarsh, Devas Isso, or SL Maxis. I am saying Rahul Gandhi did not. And the fact is, he did not speak about all this. And that's Arnab. a fact in our political history. Now, you can come out after that, months after that, and say, you know, corruption is bad. But is Kalmadi's corruption bad? Is A. Raja's corruption bad? Is Ashok Chavan's alleged corruption bad? Is the corruption of Devas Isro bad? Is Dayanidhi Maran's alleged corruption bad? Is Kanimori's alleged corruption bad? You know, when the, the shoe pinches on the Why other foot... One second, Arnab, Sanjay, please. Please, you know, you know, you know so people of this country have evolved far too much. The, the people of this country have evolved far too much to allow you to get away with generalizations. No, Hartosh no, is responding. Hartosh. I agree with you. Sure. Arnab, Arnab, if I may speak now. Uh, see, look at this clearly. <coughs> this bill was discussed in Parliament. This government decided to take some positions. Rahul Gandhi is a member of Parliament. Yeah. Now, if he has some intrinsic political beliefs and values or what the system should stand up, he should have stood up and said something. He has an important position in the party when this whole ordinance was discussed. Where was he? What was he saying? What was he doing? If he's just a straw in the wind responding to political moods, then why do we need Rahul Gandhi? Why doesn't the Congress take a straw poll and decide this may be a publicly favorable posture to take and let's take that posture? Why are Rahul Gandhi's principles? Why did time, he not oppose this right at, at the, the beginning same and time, say this is not criminal, at the same time, this is not to be wrong. done? At the same time, Mr. if you take Ball, a dipstick, so one, I'll Mr. take a break Ball, now, no, I have to take a break. If you take right a dipstick, one small point. Right call, you, uh, Arnab, can I make one small point? Timing. A right decision and a correct decision is right whenever Arnab, it is taken. At the same time, if you take a Just dipstick on what the Prime Minister... Now, one second. If you take a dipstick... And by the way, it is still an ordinance, it is not an act of Parliament. Sanjay, you did not need the ordinance for God's sake. Three days back, Sanjay, three days back when we were debating with you, why the ordinance, why are you doing this, then you were all fire and brimstone saying, ordinance, ordinance, must ordinance, required ordinance, ordinance now. All I was saying And today your position is, what's the ordinance about? I want to link it to Lalu Prasad Yadav. You know, you know, you know, can today, you know, one, 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 Sanjay Jha, one thing I must say, you, say Arnab, to you. Can I make no, one no, small point? Vinod Mehta, I must say one thing to Sanjay Jha. For what? all the viewers tonight, for all the viewers tonight, this is the victory of the audience, the viewers, and the people of India. Because the fact is Rahul Gandhi is, respo is responding to the outrage that is expressed by the people of India. And if any political party or any Correct. politician, including Rahul Gandhi, felt that they could get away with it. If anyone expects today, watching television at home, that Rahul Gandhi is doing this of his own volition, no. Rahul Gandhi is doing this because he knows force he, of the, people. the force of the people, yeah. the and anger of the people. Is. And that's Absolutely. what democracy is all about. Yes, Vinod Mehta. Absolutely. <coughs> Arnab, you are absolutely right. If you are trying to make a list of all the things that Rahul Gandhi has not done, or all his mistakes, or all his doublespeak, 
the question that I am asking is the one that you asked. Has he done the right thing in opposing the ordinance or not? That he yes has. or no? That that without doubt, if you take a poll today, that Rahul Gandhi but, but, has. And if and if the Congress Party, some sections of the government feel the Prime Minister has been heard, a lot of people will say, let the Prime Minister be heard. The Prime Minister has been stopped from doing something wrong. I take a no, break no, tonight. No, will the Prime I, Minister I be able to fight back? Will the Prime Minister be able to fight back? That story will continue on the other side tonight. Is also a night of change because you may be close to getting the right to reject candidates you don't like. More about that when I come back.